fucking hell. Don't fucking hell, even if the even if the uh, succubi tell you otherwise. Succubi are from the moon. You are a pain in my ass. Also, those fucking octa mermaid things can apparently water them because they just bring up balls of water and turn them into spears and throw them at you. Yeah. <laughs> Under the sea, under the sea, under the toxic sea. Look at this. It's just murky water. Your murky water. Ah, I got him. Oh my. That was so high, old man. You do. High IQ play. Hmm. I don't know why I just thought about this, but if we all lived in one of those like fancy magic, fancy D and D style worlds, would do, would we have fucking orbs instead of discs to project media on? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It depends. It depends on the world that you've written, dearie. Exactly. I mean, for all you know, it could just be projected to a fucking well. The idea of magic orbs that can record things and play them back to it is interesting. When you think, like, when you think about the fact that we've already invented them. Yeah, I know. This place is pretty. Where's the nearest checkpoint? All right. <clears throat> Okay, so Golden, what's different about the Shanted Orbs? Uh, it does more damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I get it, you're stabbing people. With the shards of the Shanted Orbs. I'm yes. so. When you break things, they make sharp edges. Most of the time. This sign has sharp corners, also the bridges out ahead. <laughs> Oh, hello, Hydra. Oh boy, you got some, you got some long tails. Where there's those signs that are like, pass with care. I love how there's a sign that will say like, oh, falling rocks. Okay, cool. What am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> or you... you're supposed to become an earthbender so you can just fucking move yeah. out of the way. Duh. Right, right. Yeah. Failed to consider that. That's true. Or you go up to one of those pass with care signs and you put a piece of tape over the P and pass. And it says ass with care. Yeah. Ass with care. Yep. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of heads you got. It's, it's a real shame about to cut all of them off. Okay, we're talking about ass and then you mentioned hedge. <laughs> yes. That's all what was down here. Wait, hold on, you're fighting a Hydra and your go-to plan is to cut its heads off? Yes. Isn't that literally the worst plan when fighting a Hydra? Uh, um, cut the head off and then burn it. <laughs> well, I'm using a giant Chaos Halberd that fucking basically pours lava into the wounds already, so... Yeah, I not see. the best plan. What no, that's mean? a brilliant plan. The, the, the way you kill a Hydra is to burn the heads. Or if you cut it off, burn it, because if it clots, then it can't grow any new heads. Yeah, just use a lightsaber, Lamel. But since I don't have access to a lightsaber, I just have a halberd that fucking pours chaotic lava using oh, that's the human, that's powered by the human spirit into people. That's actually pretty neat. Yeah. 
Welcome to uh, Dark Souls. You one, aren't you? Come here, put your head into my range. Please enter leith my lethal range. Uh, Take Sergey. Buddy, the way I see this, you can either put your head into my range or I can start throwing lightning at you. Well, lightning it is. Oh, now you suddenly want to get into my range, huh? That's what I fucking pew 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 pew. pew, pew. Uh, yeah, sorry, there's a shootout happening in the move. I figured. Uh, I hold no definition of kaboom. Kaboom! This reminds me, reminds me of the last mission on, like, COD 4. You know, where you're SAS inside of an airplane and you have to rescue VIP. Yes. Oh, sweet. Okay, so it's V. Alright. Hmm. Or, like, that mission that the top, the Grand Tour guys, Jeremy, Richard, and James, did. When they did an episode where they were in the military and had to rescue the queen from a jet. I remember that. And every time one of them died, they had to restart. Yes. Jeremy couldn't use a rifle because he's a left-handed shot, so he had to use a pistol the entire time. Well, he shot me earlier, so it's only fair. Right, or um, when they lift up the service vehicle and he's like, I think the terrorists are going to notice this assault. And Richard is just shot in the head through the window. Hello, yes, this is a large tree. <laughs> I love how the woman asked you to be careful because, like, if anyone found out you were in there, she could lose her job. And the first thing you do is take all the files and break all the fucking chandeliers. <laughs> it's like, I won't tell a soul, but I'll certainly make it obvious. <laughs> it's like, I'll just go ahead and borrow these and. Well, I mean, they don't know that you went in there, so. Yeah. It could have been anybody that trashed the place. It's just they don't know it was you specifically. She's still gonna lose her job because someone got in. <laughs> no, 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 you see? Look, and they don't know it was you who got in there, so. Therefore, technically safe. Well, yes, you, the main character, is safe, but the librarian who let you in, she's gonna lose her job. Wait a minute. See, oh, there's no, a hidden section said, I forgot to check. If I let you in here. She didn't specify other people. Oh, okay. You see, these are entirely steps made out of logic. Just use his bones for the frame and then stretch his skin out over the top so you got something to step on. <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> no, and there, actually, there actually is a human furniture kink, by the way. Like using people as a footstool, or like like oh. it could be that, or sitting on them, or yeah, like there's a, there's a name for it. Or what it's called? I feel like human furniture probably is the name. No, no, there's a, no, 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 no. There's a special name for it. It's, it's like a you know how like 
Yeah, like, you know how, like, if you have a phobia, it's you don't just say, I yeah, have fear of spiders. That's not that's not a scientific name. You don't have fear of spiders. You do, but it's called arachnophobia. Literally mean fear of arachnids. Um, and when in the case of fetishes, they're called philias. So, for instance, um, like, chronophilia is when you're interested in people, is when you're interested in, like, any form of age difference, and there's different forms of it, like, uh, there's one, I forget what it's called, but it's, like, attraction to elderly people. Um, there's, uh, thanophobia, not thanophobia, sorry, thanophilia, where you like being, you have fantasies about being snuffed. Um, there's, uh, 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 there's some, some of them have interesting names because some of them avoid the philia thing like for instance um, oh here's one of mine uh, vampirism which actually doesn't necessarily mean that you like blood sucking it just means anything having to do with blood even if it doesn't involve anything like vampire like um, is just referred to as vampirism I have that uh, I'm not surprised um, As a matter of fact, I shouldn't be because you've told me this. There's also one, and I can't remember the name, but it's usually in women, and it's an attraction to serial killers. Yeah. Oh, I know what that's called. Uh, insanity. <laughs> well, it's also, like, 100% true that it exists, but it, the weird part is that it almost only exists in women. But that's because some of them like the bad boy thing, and will take it to the nth degree. So taking it to the nth degree is they want they want to do stuff with criminals. This is why um, like with the Boston Marathon bombers, there were no no there were the Boston Marathon bombers. There was uh, a lot of fan girls for the two guys who did it. Not only because they were attractive, but because they they fit that. So they actually had a fan base of people who really thought they were hot. I mean, I understand thinking that people are hot regardless of what they did, but like. But no, they're like they were. They went out to try and like justify it. Like, oh, they're so hot. They're such tortured. They're just such tortured souls. And. Th hey, hey, girl! I heard you liked bad boys, so I firebombed the children's hospital. Like, <laughs> what? Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, no, I'm funny though. Jesus Christ. I don't think at that point, I don't think it should be classified as a fetish at that point. I feel like it should be classified as a fucking serious mental disorder. Hmm. Yes. Indeed. Somebody died. Oh, they're back. Okay, I'm back. Greetings. <laughs> yeah. I said somebody died and then immediately you came back, so, you know, I guess you made me a liar. Um... Well, I mean, I had to come back because Discord will randomly, like, disconnect me from the call where I won't hear anything, and I have to leave and then come back to hear that's people funny. again. Yeah. But that's only on mobile. Only on mobile. How the fuck am I meant to get up here? Lots of running through hallways. I'm running around inside of a giant tree. That sounds... What the hell is... is that... Oh my god, is that a camel spider? Oh, I looked under my wall. Hold on a second. I got a bug to kill. I'll be right back. A camel spider would be a lot bigger than a bug, sweetie. Yeah. 
I was gonna say, camel spiders are fucking huge. Well, on top of that, camel spiders don't actually live in that part of the world. Yeah, they, don't they live around Where? in the, the Middle East? Yeah, camel spiders are Middle Eastern. Yeah. He probably will have tarantulas where he lives, though. I think he ha he's actually caught a tarantula before. Well, I mean, like, tarantulas are fucking cute. They are, 100%. Yeah, like, they're they're not as cute as jumping spiders, but they're cute. I, I, like, I especially I prefer tarantulas over jumping spiders just because tarantulas are very big and easy to see. Well, it's dead. I mean, yeah. No, like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm a guy who loves, like, Mexican red knees tarantulas. I, I would love to own a Mexican red knee tarantula. It's oh, me too. Dude, they're so chill. They're one of the most chill tarantulas out there. Do keep in mind, though, that if you stress it out, um, it, you'll be slammed with a bunch of irritating hairs, which are the hairs on its, um, but, thorax. Yeah, it's a foot. That's how it hunts. <laughs> no, that's not how it hunts. Uh, the hair, it's... It, it, what it'll do is it'll take its rearmost legs and then rub it, rub it at high speed so it sheds a lot of the hair. But if you, if they just so much as touch, say, your hand or touch you, uh, get ready because you will, it's not only going to itch worse than anything possible to the point where it's almost debilitating, uh, you have to go to the hospital to get them removed. You can't just wash them off with water? Nope. nope. It's a defense mechanism, Deary. If, if it were that simple, a lot more Mexican red knees would probably be dead. I like how this dude is super cool with the fact I just walked around behind him, cut off his tail, got the sword out from it, and just, uh, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give one single fuck. He's like, yeah, no, you can still join my covenant, why not? Oh, yeah, but wait, where they, where they get the hospital, man? Where, like, anything related to dragons, you can cut off his tail and get a sword. Yeah, no, there's a there's a fucking dragon human hybrid in the game that has a yeah, tail. Priscilla. You you can you can cut you can cut her tail off and get a dagger out of it. Sadly you have to kill her though. You don't have to kill her, you can literally just walk right by her. Yeah. I mean if you cut off the tail. I mean yes, but also you have that for all subsequent playthroughs as well, so Oh, okay. That's why I killed fucking uh Gwendolyn. Mainly because I was also done with it, and I don't foresee myself coming back there for any particular reason. And if I do, I have the Chamber of the Princess Bonfire, so it's not like it matters that much. I don't have Dark Moon Blade anymore, or rather, I don't have access to Dark Moon Blade anymore, but I do have Sunlight Blade. That's nice. I can just uh, imbue my sword with fucking lightning, and like, super bomb-ass lightning too, so... Not quite as good as Dark Moon, but besides the point. Hello there, giant pearl crab abomination thing. And uh, now you're dead. Oh, you're dead now. Y'all dead. Fucking dead, mate. Magical Star, this is Peter we're talking about. Yeah, really. What's, what do you say? He's saying, like, how are tarantulas cute? They're scary. Tarantulas Bro, they're like... Cute the fuck? Yeah, they're tarantulas are adorable. And, they're tiny and fuzzy. And they're not I old got worse. <laughs> well, not Mexico. Like, the only time... Uh, those tarantulas really aren't... There really isn't a tarantula that's all that deadly to people. If we're being completely fucking honest. Like, yep. you might have some that are, like, aggressive. Um... But aggressive tarantulas usually come from, like, Southeast Asia, and they're, like, blue. They're, like, sky blue and black. Yeah, I caught a small one last year. Well, oh, no, 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 I'm talking about, like, the south, the ones from Southeast Asia. You uh, won't find them. You, you're not going to find them over there. But the ones that you'll totally find here are really docile. They're not really interested in coming after humans. In fact, they're usually pretty terrified of them. Yeah, like last year, there was one. He was just, he was just casually strolling up my my uh, driveway, and I was like, "Oh, sweet, this is my first tarantula here." And I'm like, oh, God, "I must catch it," and I did. And then I released it. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You made, you took a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah. I did a video.
mushrooms. Yep. Mario would go ballistic. Also, I would be very skeptical about being able to achieve something medical from a mushroom that poisons me for as long as I stand next to it while it's alive. <laughs> yeah, the... <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with you on that one. He's like, this mushroom is killing me, but now I killed it, and now it's medicinal. Apparently. I mean, look at a lot of the things that are very commonplace. Like, salt, which is literally... Oh, hey! two horribly deadly toxins put together. And, and you know, you, you put it on your fries to eat with your burger. Or, like, peppers in general. They're just like, oh yeah, no, uh, we're going to emit this, we're going to emit this, uh, like, secretion which is, it's, it's meant to cause pain. And uh, we're just like, yeah, no, I'm gonna use that to, uh, flavor my chips. Make salsa out of it. Why not? No, I love how, yeah, I love how jalapenos evolved to be spicy, specifically to avoid people eating them, and then humans come by, it's like, dude, this is spicy, we should eat more of it. This is some serious gourmet shit. <laughs> These things are supposed to be sirens? The fuck? I don't know. Unless sirens have always had octo bodies, and I just never knew. <laughs> silver ore. A chunk of pure silver ore used by goldsmiths to make jewelry. Alright, cool. Also good against werewolves. Yeah. What about Timberwolves? You can use it to make silver bullets become the Lone Ranger. Someone in the chat, Twitch chat is like, Jesus Christ in all caps. No, he's dead. Jesus Christ. What the <laughs> hell did you link, Solar? Oh, oh, why don't you click on it and find out. Ah, I'm zooming in too much. Got the picture. Ah, that is hi. a big ass tarantula. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> is that the red knee? Yes, yes it is. That is that is a Mexican red knee tarantula. That is what it looks like. I don't see it in the stream chat. It, no, the Twitch in stream. The actual stream. The Twitch stream. Yeah. In the uh, in the Twitch chat. Yeah. Oh, never mind then. I'm on mobile, so I don't have that up. Hold on. Um... What is this supposed to be? Humanity? I posted it in the stream chat for you. Awesome. So yes, that is, a, that is a Mexican red meat, yes. It looks like it would be very fun to just pet. Yeah, if, if you get it to like you, you need to let it relax in your... Like, I used to really want a pet tarantula, so I, knew, so I looked up all this shit. You have to let it, like, relax in your hand first, and then you can attempt to pet it. Just have, like, a horse attitude of make sure that it's aware that you exist and where you're putting your hands, and you should be fine. Look at this spider, and, like, it makes me think of the Frostbite spiders from Skyrim, as well as Lucas the spider. Lucas, yeah. Lucas! Yeah, he's no, so cute. Oh. Yeah, you know, he's so I, I, cute. jumping spiders are so adorable. The concept of jumping spiders scares me, but they do look really nice. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I mean, 99% of the time they don't want to jump on you because they're kind of averse to that. As it turns out, yeah, no, they're, uh, as it turns out, we're a whole lot bigger than them. So jumping on us would probably be detrimental. Alright, if I jump on this, this thing, it's gonna slap me with its big fucking beige hands. With I don't want that to happen, because I like living. Living is good. Mm -hmm. Dying is unhealthy. As it turns out, he's right. I mean, depending on how you die. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, depending on how you die? If you die, it's fucking unhealthy. Well, I mean, if you live a really healthy life and then you die when it's your time rather than by an illness. Oh, really? Are you still alive? No? Then you're not healthy, are you? You're fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs>